some new study that was conducted by the Water Quality Research Foundation that evaluated the effects of detergent dose, hardness, and temperature, specifically for laundry applications and dishwashing applications. We wanted to see if reducing hardness in water would actually allow us to reduce the detergent dose and also potentially reduce temperature. So both of those would give us detergent savings, which helps in the pocketbook, as well as energy consumption, which helps in the pocketbook, but also for environmental reasons. So the science was looking at it, instrumentation that would be able to look at fabrics and actually measure whiteness of fabrics and then also going into what is soil removal so again having advanced instrumentation to be able to quantify soil removal from dishes or spotting and filming from your glasses um, so there's a study um, most washing machines have a cold warm and hot cycle so we um, looked at what are those temperatures that are used by the manufacturers. So it's typically 60, 80, and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then also for dishwashing, we looked at results with the normal setting, but then looking at air drying. So it, there was kind of some energy savings there by not having the heated drying. It revealed that there is a significant reduction in detergent dose and temperature when you reduce the hardness. You could actually reduce the detergent usage by 50% for laundry and up to 70% for dishwashers. Across any brand of detergent that is out on the market right now, you can decrease that amount of the, the recommended manufacturer's dose by 50% when you have softened water and you can also bring your temperature from hot down to cold.